you want to be a daddy, stay up all night and take care of that baby instead of wandering in and out at your leisure to that ugly bitch over there. It has always been you and me, and it always will be. I will decide who I spend my life with. You might not make it, all right? Bodies is bad for business. BMF fans, Lamont Tyson bringing you the BMF Season 3, Episode 7 trailer breakdown after the aftermath of what happened in Episode 6. Henry versus her daddy is the question I want to ask you guys from the jump. Who's going to kill who? A lot of you all think that the daddy is going to get Henry. I don't think they put so much time and effort into making Henry look like St. Louis for nothing. I think that there's a chance she might take out her daddy and then Detroit is going to be in chaos. Post your comments. Let me know what you think. We're going to start this trailer right now and let me give you guys updated on what's going on. It all starts now. I'm up early for the dealers come out. Everybody is outside till the killers come out. You ain't eating, you just act full. I'm impactful. Dozen funerals in a month. I got that whole. I will give it to niggas in all rap forms. Ignatius out right now on all platforms. That's right, y'all. Subscribe to the channel. Download the podcast. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok at LifeGains1. And for those that didn't know, Meech is working on his cuts for the sluts. Take a look at this dude. Yo, man. <laughs> hey, y'all, them braids ain't short like I thought they would, y'all. The boy got a little hang time, man. <laughs> Yo, man. Squee, 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 squee. Perfect. Squee. 20 seconds. Squee, squee. Give me 10 more seconds. 10, 9. Eight, seven. Boy, back in here, man. Got my boy back in here, man. We in here, man. We get ready for season four. What the fuck y'all doing? Boy, back. <laughs> oh, meet you, meet. In there getting them cuts for the sluts. Getting ready for season four. He wants y'all to get ready. He letting y'all know he getting ready. He must gonna have a whole lot of scenes where he's taking his clothes off. And this Tuesday. For those of you that have been wondering when you're going to get another Lamont and Larry show, you don't have to worry anymore. Tuesday at noon, he's coming. The living legend Larry will be back on the channel with me at noon. Don't miss it. Get ready for it. And let's break this trailer down. It is entitled, the episode, Get Him Home. I can only suspect they're talking about Meech getting home. And I'll tell you why when we get to it. But first we see... T looking at his new baby and oh, look at that little cute thing. Looking like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man with hair. Just as cute as he can be wanting to hold his daddy. But while T is looking at the baby, of course, we got bitter, angry LaWanda. And at this point, y'all can say what you want, but LaWanda has to take some of the blame for her feelings because she let T back in the last time to start this season. She's basically telling him, look, you want to be a daddy? Stay up with your child and stop going over there visiting that ugly bitch. Well, y'all know what ugly bitch she's talking about. Yeah, she's talking about Markeisha. And I'm sorry, Lawanda. We don't like what Markeisha is doing, but ain't nothing ugly about this woman, okay? She old as hell. That pussy might be decrepit. It might have a little bit of cobwebs up in it. But everything else looks good, Lawanda. Ain't nothing ugly about this one right here. But you can already see that her and T is getting more and more supplanted as a couple. And it's just a matter of time before LaWanda's going to be out the scene. She's nothing more than a baby mama unless she's going to continue to tolerate T. LaWanda, some of this blame is on you because you keep letting him come back. If you know he's sniffing behind cougar draws, let him go. Lord have mercy, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Now, some of y'all women about to get on my nerve with this Dr. Thunder from Down Under shit. Now, y'all know this right here is a no-no. A gift, a box of roses with a a, a note arrives at the door of Chuck's house. He goes and picks them up, and we see him having a little conversation with Lucille. And then we see him pulling the damn name Lucille out of the roses, and he flips it over. And then we get a little dialogue from Chuck. He's having a conversation with Lucille. He's saying, 
it's always been you and me. And it will always be you and me. Well, Lucille says, like hell it is, I will decide who I spend my life with. Now, Chuck, I got to admit, bro, you can't be, you can't force anyone to do anything they don't want to do. And at this point in time, Lucille seemed like that, she, bro, she's done with you. You went and gave her the last good explanation point sex, and it ain't worked. Lucille is ready to be wined and dined. She's never had this lifestyle where she's getting flowers. She's getting high dollar dates. She's got a man who's got all this education and he can deliver babies in the living room of the house by himself. He didn't need no ambulance, no team, no nurse, no nothing. Lucille ready for the high life, bro. And you're going to have to let her go. And I think that they're showing us that he's going to let her go because it looks like they're going to possibly the magistrate or maybe a police department. They look like they dressed up. Well, she's like she's in her work gear and they walking pretty swift and fast. So maybe they going to file divorce papers or something like that. Post your comments on what you guys think. Is this the courthouse or is this the um, police precinct? Then we get our first look at Lil Meech. Excuse me, Big Meech on the show. And I'm assuming he's in St. Louis with his boy Jay Pusher. And Jay Pusher's down here with his girl looking like um, TLC, and then a van rolls up while they at a baseball field. And Lord have mercy, they had to take off running. Got to be more careful. Boy, everywhere meets go. There's fights, there's guns, there's fisty cuffs, there's something going on. And as we see them running from the baseball field, we see somebody cocking the hammer. As Moochie would say, they cocking a big hammer. And then we see Southwest T putting the gun down in his restaurant. I'm assuming things is getting escalated now with Henry and he ready to go and put a bullet in her head considering what she did to his boy in the last episode, which was this. Brokering a truce with someone whose sole reason for being is to extinguish your light. In or out, anyone near the drug game is going to be a casualty of some kind. So that got me thinking maybe T is ready to go handle his business. But I'm thinking T going to be smarter than this because all he got to do is go back to Blaze. Blaze done already made it clear to T that he's going to handle this business. And so if T's putting this gun on the table because of Henry, I think he should go back to Blaze and get the business started. We see a bloody hand uh, wrapped up as if they just got out of a fight. No doubt this might be from the, the van shooting people up at the baseball field. And then you hear Meech saying he might not make it. Bodies is bad for business. And he's saying that talking to his boy Jay Pusher. And then we see um, the homegirl with Jay Pusher, the TLC chick. Then, ladies and gentlemen, we see somebody busting up in a crib. I don't know who the hell these people are. I don't remember seeing these people before. And we see one dude pull out a gun on somebody that looked like Lil Scrappy in the ATL. Lil Scrap done got on the BMF show. Whipping out a gun, sawed off hammer, about to shoot somebody. And then they quickly fast forward to TLC, swinging the bat on somebody's car. And that's what ends this trailer I can't make heads or tails on what happened in the end, so that's what I got y'all for. Tell me what you think. Let me know what you think about this trailer. Let me know what you think is going to happen in this coming episode. And will Meech get back home? The title of the episode is Get Him Home. So I'm thinking Meech is going to get back to the A and Lee St. Louis and Jay Pusher down there doing their thing. Um, but I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get that life game. Download the podcast, my people. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and be sure to follow me on TikTok at LifeGames1. And until that next sex is hell video, I'm out.